Hi you guys, my name is Melissa Ayoja and I am bringing a workout for you today that is going to be extremely hard but you're going to enjoy it. It's a rep workout which means you're going to complete the number of reps before you move on to the next exercise. I am going to be showing you a tutorial of each exercise so that you know how to do the proper form and I'll also show you the modifications. So that's it, let's go and uh, you're also going to need a mat and a ball. I'm using the Yuki ball so that you can put balance one foot on it at a time. If you don't have a Yuki ball, you can also use a basketball or some kind of a ball that's about that big, or you can use something like a small chair, something you can just put one foot on to balance. And that's it, let's go. You're gonna love it. And a towel because you're gonna sweat. <laughs> okay, exercise number one is push back push ups. So you're gonna need your mat, you're gonna get on the ground into the push up position, and you're going to go down, doing a push-up, and then you're going to use your whole body, arms, legs, everything. Push yourself back. Your knees are not touching the ground. And then you're going to push up, back into the starting position. So you're down, push back, up. Down, push back, up. If you're, just, if you're a complete beginner, you can drop down to your knees. To do the push-up, you go down, and you're back. Stay on your knees the whole time. Up, down, push back, and up. And that is it. That is exercise number one, push back push-ups. For exercise number two, 180 degree touchdowns. So you're going to get down into the squat position, hands onto the ground, and you're going to explode into the air and turning around at the same time, landing softly on the balls of your feet and touching down again. So you're down, you explode up, and you're down on the other side, touching the ground. You're going to continue to just face the same way every time you jump. If you want to make this harder, if you feel like you can get through doing it this way. Who wants to make it harder? Let's be honest. I do. Oh, oh, well, during this workout, let me tell you, it is so hard. The, hard. the more reps that you keep doing, the more you just want to stop. So if you can do it starting off doing it harder, Start off doing it harder, and then if it's too hard, then do the way that I just did. So, the tough way is to be on the ground, and you're going to jump tuck on your way to the other side. Notice, I'm landing softly on the balls of my feet the whole time. And that's exercise number two, 180 degree touchdowns. Exercise number three is a power knee tuck. So you're going to need your mat, you're going to get down on the floor, full belly on the ground, and you're going to power up and tuck your knee to your chin at the same time. Back down, again belly on the ground in the starting position, and you're going to alternate. And that's about the speed that I want you to go as well. There are no modifications for this exercise, but if it's difficult for you to go at that speed, then I suggest that you slow it down. Don't stop. Exercise number four is a long leap with four jump lunges. So sometimes I like to use my mat as a gauge, um, but you can just do a long leap if you don't have one. You're gonna get down into the squat position and you're gonna explode up and out, leaping as far as you can. Landing softly on your feet, and then you're going to jump up and do four jump lunges. That's one, two, three, four. Keeping your knee behind your toe. You do not want to land like this, but when you land, you're gently on the balls of your feet. And then you can step your feet together, and you can either turn around or jump. And do it again. around. For a modification, you can jump maybe just not as far, just maybe a kind of a, a hop forward and then you can lunge back together four times and that would be the modification for number four, long leap and four jump lunges. You're winded. I'm winded. <laughs> it's hard to talk at the same time. Whoa. 
And then exercise number five are our core crushers. You're going to need your ball. So I love using the Yugi ball because it's nice and squishy and it actually helps to stabilize your foot. And if you're using a basketball or soccer ball, whatever, it's a lot harder to do. This exercise is about control, not about going as fast as you can. So push up position. I'm crawling in the time. One, I'm just kidding. One foot on the ball. And the whole time your opposite foot is going to stay off the ground. So you're going to tuck your knee to your chin back into starting position. And then you're going to kick your foot out to the side, back to starting position, switch. So tuck your knee to your chin, back into starting position, kick out, and back, switch. Again, this is not about going as fast as you can, this is about control. If you are a complete beginner, you can do these without a ball. You are in the push-up position, tuck, kick, or you can rest your foot between each one. Tuck, down, kick, down. And if that's even still too difficult, drop to your knees. You can do a reptile, out of your knee out to the side, touching your elbow. It's a little hard to go in this way. Out, back, kick and back. And that is it. That is the last exercise. So get going. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I know I did. It is very hard. You're going to sweat like crazy. It will go by fast and you are going to burn calories for a long, long time. So as you're doing this workout and you feel like giving up, keep going. Just know how quick it goes by, but it's well worth it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I will see you next time. Bye.